Hey guys, it's Dr. J here with another video on mobile application using Thunkable. In this project, we create an app that will be able to recognize any image. So what does it entail to create an image recognition app? Well, the first thing we would need to do is to take a picture using our camera. Once the picture is taken, we would need to display that picture in our app. And once we've got the picture in our app, we would then need to recognize that picture. So this is what will constitute our image recognition app. So what components will we now re be required to use in order to develop this app? We will need to make use of some labels. We will need to make use of an image since we're taking a picture using our phone. That picture will be displayed in our image and we'll be needing some buttons which will serve as triggers. If I had to now start planning this application in terms of its user interface, uh, this application would look something like this. So let's assume that this is my screen. I usually like to start my applications with a heading. So I will have a heading over here and that will be using a label component. Thereafter, we will need an image since we're taking a picture using our phone. So this will be an image component. Now that I've got the image, I need a trigger that will allow me to take the image from my phone onto my application. And the trigger there will be my button. So this is a button. And here I will say, take photo. When I click on this button, the picture that's captured on my phone will then appear in this image component. Now that I've got the image into my application, I would like to recognize what image that is. I'm going to add another button, which will serve as my trigger. So this is another button. And here I would possibly say describe image. And when I click on that button, it will then display what that image is using another label. I'll call this label two and the first one would have been label one. So I've, I've got an idea of what my user interface is going to look like. So in terms of my blocks where I would need to code this application, uh, when I click on this particular button, uh, I'm going to need a when click. I'm going to need a when click trigger. So when I click that button, what should happen? This image component should get the value of the picture in my camera. So in other words, the image. So this is the image component. It should get the photo. It needs to get the photo from the camera. So this is giving me some indication of what component is receiving the value. So the image component is receiving the value and the property we're going to use is a camera property where it's going to get the photo. So that is the take photo uh, button. I'm now going to 
code, I'm going to need to code the describe image button. Again, I'm going to need another when click. And this time, when I click on that button, what's going to receive the value? So when I click on describe image, this label 2 is going to receive some value in terms of what image we have. So label 2 is receiving the value. And what value is it receiving? Well, we need to now describe. We need to now describe the photo. Again, describe the photo that is related to the camera uh, in terms of the photo that was taken. But remember also that photo is now part of my image. So from a planning perspective, I have an idea of how to create my UI, which is my user interface. I also have some idea in terms of how I'm going to set up my triggers for both of my buttons. And now that I have planned out my application, I'm ready to start coding. I'm now in the Thunkable application and I've already created a project called Image Recognition. And within this project, these are the components that I've made use of. I've got a screen, I've got a heading, and that heading is my label one that has image recognition application. I then have image one, which will store the image when the photo is taken. I then have a button, which is my button one. I've got button two, which will then describe the image when this button is pressed. And once the image is described, it will appear in this particular label, which is called label two. So this is the interface that I've already designed for this application. And this interface is based on this design that we put together during the planning phase. Let's start coding the two buttons to take a photo and to describe the image. To start the coding, I will now go into the block section and we now need a trigger when button one is pressed. You will recall that button one allows me to take the photo. So when button one clicks, then what do we need to do? Well, as we indicated during the planning, when button one is, I press this take photo, which is button one, image one needs to get the picture from the camera. So I need to go to image one and I need to set, I need to set image one's picture to something. So what do I need to set image one's picture to? I need to set it to the value taken from the camera, the photo taken from the camera. So I'm going to go to the camera and it has photo from camera. So that block will fit into this. So we're setting image one's picture to the photo from the camera. And I'm now going to drag that into this particular block. So when button one is pressed, when we click it, we set image one's picture to the photo from the camera. So that helps me with the design of take photo. I now need to describe this image. So I'm now going to work with button two. So going to the block section, I'm going to go to button two. I'm now going to use a when button two is clicked. 
and this is independent of the button one click. So when button two is clicked, what should happen? When button two, when we click button two, the label gets the value. So we want to set the value for the label. So that's the first step. So I'm going to go to the label. It's label two. Make sure you select the correct label. And we want to set the label's text. We want to set the label's text to something. It's not a fixed value. It's not a fixed value. Where do we want to get? Where do we want to get the text from? Remember, that's coming from this image. So we want to, and that image is coming from the camera. So if I go back to the blocks and if I go to the camera, you will notice there's a description of image. So that is what I need. So I'm going to click that on. So label two's text is going to be the description of the image from where? Well, it's the photo of the camera. But remember that the image has already been put into the image one component. So we just need to get the image one's picture. So I'm going to get image one picture and that's going the description of image one uh, picture is that's going to be described and that description is going to be put into label two text. So now that I've set that up, I'm going to move that into uh, into button two click. So when button one is clicked, this code will execute. And when button two is clicked, that's the code that will execute. We're now ready to test this application. Let's test our application. I'm going to click on the live test on device. A connection has been made with my device. Um, this is now a preview of what is appearing on my phone. I would now like to take a photo. So once I click take photo I'm taking a picture that's the picture I've now taken and now I'm going to click on describe image and you will notice it has identified this as a close-up of a pen. Sometimes you will find it possibly does not recognize the image the way it should. More often than not, it will give you some description. So this is our image recognition application. Hope you enjoyed this, um, this video and this project, if you did. Press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos uh, on mobile development. Till the next video, take care. Bye.